Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Shariel if you're new and if you're returning, thank you for coming back. You already see the title. Social media is fairly new, but this is getting old. This video is plain and simple and a PSA to everybody that has social media and especially to those that do this. Stop oversharing on social media. And this is for the good of humanity. It's good for yourself just in case you don't do this, but you might get tempted. I'm gonna give you four points on different things in life that you shouldn't overshare about that I've seen or I've seen or heard about from other people. So let's get right into the video. The first subject in life that I feel you should stop oversharing about are death and funerals. I know death is a part of life. It's nothing wrong with an RIP post and, you know, spreading someone's legacy or memory on your timeline, that's perfectly fine. But something we don't need to see on the timeline regarding death and funerals is somebody laying in their casket and you post it on your timeline. For me, this also applies to when people overshare videos of people getting killed, either by police or by each other. I get you're trying to spread awareness, but this is not good for our mental health, especially it's coming at us at every angle with social media. Oftentimes, this stuff is traumatizing. It causes anxiety and can cause depression. I think we need to just pump the brakes on always posting traumatizing things. And that's the biggest thing when it comes to death. We don't need too many details on the TL and we don't want to see any photos of them dead. Like, nobody wants to wake up in the morning, have their cup of coffee, go on Facebook. Oh, thanks for ruining my day. I'm not shaming with this. I'm just saying people don't want to see that. Like, my number two point of things in life that need to stop being overshared are relationships. And I'm talking about relationships with your family, relationships in your workplace, and romantic relationships. It's overshared on social media. We have to get to a point that if we have a problem with somebody, we need to confront them in real life. Posting subliminal things about a family member, your baby mother, your baby daddy, um, your boss, if you live in a small town or like if you're well known or whatever, we know who you're talking about. If you have a problem with them, try to find a solution because we don't want to be in your business. When you post things about people that you're in relationships with, you brought the whole world into it whether you recognize it or not because now it's public information. So you can't be mad when people are in your business because you're posting your own business. Now let's specifically talk about oversharing with romantic relationships and when it's going good, okay? So what I've noticed is that when someone's in a relationship and it's going well, they wanna start posting them all the time. We get it, you're in love, you're happy. The man of your dreams, the woman of your dreams. But the thing is when you're constantly posting them all the time, number one, we don't care. No offense. I'm happy for you, but I don't care. And number two, if you guys break up and you stop posting him out of nowhere and now you delete all those posts, you're going to have to tell us what happened now. I know you think you're not, but you already put us in your business by posting him every five seconds. Now he just magically disappeared. We want to know now. Unless you're willing to give us the deets after it doesn't work. Don't post somebody every five seconds. Another thing is when your relationship is going good, it's good to spare the details. And this regards going on vacations or romantic getaways. A few photos is fine, right? But we don't want to see you guys waking up to each other in the resort. Like, we don't need that video. It's, keep that for you guys. Another thing that I see on Twitter all the time, which is mind-boggling, are sexual photos of you guys having your tongues together and posting that selfie. <laughs> Why? <laughs> or literally someone getting a sexual act performed on them and you guys post the video or the photo. Get it out, get it out, get it out. Why? 
that's your business why do you post it on twitter it's weird like we didn't ask for that and it's literally disgusting and unnecessary that's between you guys why do you want the world to see it posting intimate pictures online like like super intimate like bedroom type of stuff <laughs> Tell, i just have one question what Also, like I said, spare the details when, you're, when your relationship is going good because I'm telling you, you guys think people are happy for you. People be in the comments like, oh my gosh, you guys are so cute. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy for you. Those are the same girls and boys that are plotting for you guys not to work out. They're plotting. They're seeing he's buying you roses or from a guy's perspective, he's seeing that your shorty is faithful. He's like, I should have got her before him. I hope they don't work out because I'm going to be in her DMs. So just know when things are going good for you, people are plotting on you because jealousy is a real thing. So if you have a happy relationship, try to spare the details. Your relationship details online should be like parsley. It should be an accent. It shouldn't be the main dish on your timeline. Another thing with oversharing regarding relationships is when it's going bad. Please, 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 please. Don't talk about what you're going through with court, with your baby mom or baby dad, what she's trying to have you pay or what he isn't paying. We don't need to know that. That's between you and your attorney and the judge. And also when your relationship's going bad, like your boyfriend's cheating on you and he embarrassed you. Don't post how he's trash. Because when you go back to him, which a lot of you guys do, I don't blame you. I'm just saying, a lot of you guys go back. And then it just makes you look dumb. So if he's treating you bad, he's doing all this toxic stuff, if it's abusive, call the police. But like, if he's cheating on you and you're complaining, but you're not leaving him, don't share it with us because we're tired. We're tired, okay? Life is already hard enough. I don't need to see you complaining about a man that you're gonna go back to. When your relationship is lackluster or not going well, stop subbing people, talking about, you repost a girl getting flowers and you're like, oh, I wish that was me. Please stop, because by you doing that, you're not gonna make him want to get you flowers. Or like the guy, you posting a, a meme of a girl cooking, you're like, wish my shorty did this. Please stop. That's not gonna make him do it. And you're sharing too much info with us. Like I said, a lot of things can be solved with a therapist, journaling, and Jesus. A lot of you guys, please try it, just try it out.